everybody. I was enjoying a wonderful Father's Day and in the midst of the three cards that I typically get, one from my wife, one from my kids, and one from our cats, it got me thinking on the subject of relevance. When you open a card, which I will show you this card in a minute from the cats, why is it that card makers are able to achieve such almost personalized relevance? It feels like, wow, this was kind of written for me. I'm just wondering why marketers can't take a lesson from that, I'm trying to strive for the same sort of relevance which would achieve you know, a similar impact, either laughter or engagement or warmth or, or terms of endearment. So under the heading of successful marketing equals being very relevant, I'd like to share with you the contents of this greeting card that I received from my cats. I want you to know that just because I ignore you sometimes and throw up on your stuff other times doesn't mean that I don't care. I really enjoy getting your attention, which seems easy to do just by walking across your face while you sleep. The point of it is, why can't marketers achieve that same level of relevance? What's to keep B2B advertisers from finding messages, campaigns, and channels that appeal on such a distinctive level to specific individuals? Look at LinkedIn ads. It gives you the ability to create a campaign targeting members of a specific LinkedIn group. For example, those who are interested in IT asset recycling and data destruction is one I ran across recently. So if you can target a group that specifically and know that they're in Maryland and Virginia, why can't you create a message that makes them feel as if the message was just for them? Just like greeting card makers do when they put out those aisles and aisles of greeting cards. So that's something to think about for B2B marketers. I'll keep you posted.